Good morning. This is Jenna Swami coming to you live from my page over at Be Weightless. If you can hear me and you're catching me on this video, please say hello so that I know you can hear me. Somehow my browser is not showing me my microphone and, and what, um, what volume I'm at. So please, if you're watching, um, let me know that you can see this and you can hear me okay. I'm coming to you today because there are a lot of conversations that have been coming up and um, and I thought it was is an, an important time to talk about it because you know spring is coming up and what that means for most of us is we're gonna get to show some skin and if you're anything like me who spent most of my childhood being morbidly obese and am currently overweight um, even as a health coach today, I'm still overweight. So, you know, maybe you feel a certain way, as I do, about showing a lot of skin. So we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, upcoming weather, wearing shorts, wearing swimsuits, and showing a little bit of skin. Um, so this came about because recently I went to a photo shoot, which was highlighting scars. And typically when we think of scars, we think of someone attacked us, we had surgery, those types of scars, you know, the scars that come as a result of some sort of trauma to our body. But the first thing that came to mind for me is my stretch marks. And I'm, I'm actually um, sleeveless today. You can see some of my stretch marks on my shoulders here. Um, I'm going sleeveless today because I am showing more skin and I'm, I'm creating my own comfort level with showing my skin. If you don't know anything about me, um, when I was growing up being morbidly obese, my stretch marks which you can kind of see them here. They used to be angry red because when you first get stretch marks, your skin is trying to expand to keep up with your growing body. Most women don't deal with that until they're pregnant or gain a lot of weight. <laughs> but typically that doesn't happen to kids or people who are younger. It happened to me and I didn't necessarily know what to do about that. Hi, thanks for joining us. So I spent most of my childhood desperately trying to find clothes that covered my arms. And if you're a woman or a girl or a female and you have ever tried to look in the stores for sleeveless, non-sleeveless shirts during the spring and summertime, you will notice that there aren't many to be found, especially if you're younger, the types of stores you shop in, um, they may not be available to you. And I know they certainly weren't available to me, so it was a big frustration for me. Summertime was a very difficult time for me because I found myself wearing a lot of cover-ups. And at the time, we didn't have a lot of shrugs, so my cover-up was probably a sweater or something that was warm. And because I was already morbidly obese, I had a lot of... Uh, I, I sweated more. I, I tend to sweat more than the average person, perhaps, because I had a lot of extra weight that I was carrying. So even when I wasn't really doing anything physical, I would sit there and sweat because I was still wearing my sweater over my arms to cover these darn stretch marks. And um, and so my stretch marks have been with me since I was like 10 years old. Uh, at this point, you know, I'm almost 40 now. I should be comfortable with them, right? Not necessarily. Um, so recently, I, I did a photo shoot to highlight my scars aka my stretch marks because I want to be comfortable with every piece of myself who I am as an entirety with my story because regardless of where you get your scars or your stretch marks from they're a part of your story right your you your uniqueness what makes you who you are today and um, and you may be in a place where you still are covering up whatever that story is, whether it's because you don't want to bring it out into the light of day or you don't want to show the evidence of that. And I totally understand where you're coming from because that was my experience. Now this video is called Show Your Skin because you know, as we get closer to the end of April, I know we just began April, but as we get closer to the end of April, we start thinking about summertime and vacations and swimsuits. <coughs> pardon me, and all these things that come with showing more skin, right? And someone that I follow on Facebook, they posted, and this person is very fit, they're a fitness trainer, but they posted, is there an appropriate age to wear a bikini? Like an age limit for wearing a bikini. And so here's, an, here's another personal story of mine. Regardless of what size I was or am today, I would never 
ever, ever, ever consider wearing a bikini. And that has nothing to do with my scars or my size. It has to do with my feelings about modesty. So if you're with me in that and you feel like someone who's wearing a bikini on the beach is basically wearing their underwear in public and it's okay, and it's not okay uh, just comment on here give me a like give me a heart because I, I feel like I'm in the minority with that like I'm a more modest person and I prefer to cover up more of my body personally that's just my choice and it's interesting that some people feel like oh it shows that you have a great amount of confidence if you wear a bikini at any age and to me it's not an age thing it's more of a modesty thing so I don't really care what age you are I don't want to see all of your bits and pieces hanging out of your bikini at the beach. <laughs> That's just me personally. So, you know, when it comes to showing skin, I carry my own story about that. I have some hesitations about showing my skin for the reasons I just shared with you. But even if you feel somewhat comfortable with showing more skin, like maybe you embrace summer in all of its glory, but you feel like the clothes that are available to you are not very flattering. That's totally a thing, right? Like maybe there are those short shorts for women. They're getting better about this now. I mean, you can get some cabana shorts, which are the knee length shorts. And there are some other options for that. But I know when I was growing up, you know, the shorts were short shorts. They showed a lot of thigh, you know, usually for women, they seem to think that you want to show more skin even if you're a plus size woman, even if you have cottage cheese, which is cellulite on your legs, you know, there are certain parts of your body that are going to show those kinds of things more than others. And usually that's your thigh, right? So not everyone wants to wear short shorts in the summertime. And I think clothes manufacturers are getting a little savvy to that, but that doesn't mean that you don't still struggle to find clothes that cover you up appropriately and still make you feel confident and comfortable. That was the, one of the bigger challenges I had when I was growing up and why I used to hate summertime was if I found something that was comfortable, it showed more skin than I felt comfortable doing. If I found something that covered me up appropriately, it wasn't nearly as comfortable because I would sweat more in it and nobody wants to sweat more in the summertime than they need to, right? <laughs> it causes issues with smell and sweat stains and even more uncomfortable situations. So. I feel the struggle with that. Today, I still don't wear tank tops. Like, I'm wearing one today just because I I just worked out. And this is my underclothing. I wear tank tops underneath my T-shirts when I exercise. So even today, you know, 30 years later, I still don't show my arms. And I still don't feel comfortable showing a lot of skin. And that's my personal choice. Uh, give me a, a thumbs up if you agree with that, if you don't like showing a lot of skin for your own personal reasons. I'm, I'm not here to judge anyone for why. Um, if you care to share the reason why you don't want to show a lot of skin, that's totally up to you. This is a safe and supportive community. Nobody will ever bring you down for that. And I think that a lot of us women are hesitant to share the reasons why we're, we don't want to show a lot of skin. Um, whether it's because you feel like you're not perfect underneath your clothes or because somebody made a comment to you and made you feel a certain way about how you look under your clothes. I, um, someone else had posted something about one of the things that all of us want to do as people, regardless of where we are and what station we are in life, we want to look good naked. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, I think I look okay naked. I'm fine with being naked around people like my husband and things like that. Like, it doesn't bother me. So to me, it's not a sign of confidence necessarily in how you show your skin or who you show it to. It's a sign of... Um, how private you as a person and a personal choice. And then, the, you know, the questions come up with summertime is coming up, right? Like we know that even if we can find the cabana shorts that are, that's my dog coming in. Even if we can find the cabana shorts that are knee length and cover anything on our thighs that we may not want to, you know, see the light of day. Even if we find long sleeve shirts or three quarter sleeve shirts or a cover up that covers, you know, what we've got going on on our arms, maybe with it's a little extra flab, maybe it's a little extra stretch mark, you know, we, we can have a lot of things going on with our arms. Even if you find all of these things that can cover it appropriately, what about the swimsuits, right? 
Um, unless you want to be someone who stays indoor all the time or never hits the beach for various reasons, maybe you don't swim, that's totally okay. But, you know, at some point in the summer, you're probably going to wear a swimsuit, whether you go to the water park with your kids, whether you hit the beach on your next vacation, we're probably going to hit the beach at some point, we're probably going to be next to water at some point, and we're probably going to be faced with a swimsuit at one point. Just out of curiosity, if you're watching me today, just comment below how you feel about swimsuits. You can post a GIF if you want, which is one of those pictures that you can search for. Um, if you start commenting, there's usually a GIF like icon next to that. You can just type in your feeling about what you feel about swimsuits. Um, and this is a topic that I brought up before. I actually have a master class on this, so if this is something you're interested in learning how to feel confident in your swimsuit regardless of what size you are today, I would love to provide that free class to you. It's a recorded class, so you can listen to it on your own convenience. If that's something you'd like more information on or how to access that, just comment below this video and I will share that link with you. It's a free thing. But so I mentioned to you that I like to cover up my scars, my stretch marks. I don't like to show my legs necessarily, at least my skin. Part of that have to do as well with the fact that I have somewhat lighter skin. And when you have lighter skin, you see more dimpling, you see more varicose veins, you see more stretch marks, you see more things when you have lighter skin. Uh, my dark skin children do not have this issue. Um, their skin is very even. There's not a lot of modeling or modeling M-O-T-T-L-I-N-G or red within their skin. So they have a beautiful complexion and it looks different for them. So they're fine showing skin. They don't care, which is great. But, you know, if you're someone who's a little bit lighter skinned, certain things may show up a little bit more. Um, I'm okay wearing a swimsuit. I am still an overweight person. I'm fit. I exercise regularly, I take care of myself, and I feel good in my skin, and I, I wear a swimsuit. I shared a story on my blog like two years ago about how my family traveled to Mexico. It was my first time to Mexico, and I was literally in this beautiful lagoon with people who looked like they were on the cover of a magazine. I mean, these are people who look so beautiful, so natural, so effortless, and I am not one of those people. I don't look beautiful, natural, or effortless. I look the way I look, and I'm cool with who I am, and I was fine <laughs> walking around this lagoon with model perfect people in their bikinis, in their swimsuits, um, not an inch of stretch mark cellulite, anything on their bodies, and we were all just there to have a good time. Right? I was there to have a good time. Water is my natural element. I love being on or near water. And instead of stressing out about how I looked in my swimsuit and whether people were looking at my cellulite on my legs or whether they were noticing my stretch marks on my arms, I didn't care about that. And that is a progression. That was a journey for me. Um, I, I used to care very much what people would think about how my body looked. But I got to a place where I don't really care. And when I say don't care, I don't mean that if someone made a rude comment to me, I wouldn't have internalized it. I probably would have. Nobody made a comment to me because I was having such a darn good time having fun with my family in this beautiful lagoon in Mexico that I nobody could see what was on my body because they were looking at my face, right? When you show so much joy and happiness in what you're doing, people are not paying attention to marks on your body. That's just not how it works. So, you know, the more you shrink upon yourself when you're on the beach or at the swimming pool, the more you uh, make a big deal out of wearing your cover up or never exposing some skin, the more likely people will look at you because they're like, what's wrong with that person? Or, or why are they doing this? Like you're acting differently than other people on the beach, right? So that's one thing to take into consideration. The more of a production you make around how uncomfortable you are wearing your swimsuit on the beach, the more likely people will notice that. And I'm not saying that to scare you off or to, to discourage you from going to the beach, but the more you can be present and happy with what it is you're doing on the beach or the, the time you're spending with your family, or maybe how cute your swimsuit is. You know, there are cute swimsuits out there. There are swimsuits that are flattering to various shapes. I'm not an expert on that, certainly, but I have found a variety of really nice swimsuits in plus sizes. Um, I think the smallest swimsuit I've ever fit into was like a 12 or a 14. So, you know, pretty much my whole life I've been wearing swimsuits that are flattering to a plus size woman. 
and certainly you can find those things. Um, I'll see if I can dig up some resources for that. But so, you know, you can strut your stuff on the beach and feel amazing regardless of what size you are today, regardless of how your story or your history with your body makes you feel. And if you would like some support around that, I would love to support you to feel better in your skin, to feel better in your swimsuit, because those days are coming up, right? Just being honest about that. And it's something that I've experienced personally, that transition from, oh, I got to cover everything up to I don't even care. I'm having so much fun. It doesn't even matter anymore. I would love to get you in a place like that as well. And here's what I'm here's what I can do for you. So I mentioned that I do have a free recording. It's called Rock Your Swimsuit. If that is something you'd like to listen through, it's a recording of a webinar I did about a year ago. It's amazing. I mean, it'll help you feel confident in your swimsuit, regardless of what kind of swimsuit you like to wear. Or if you don't even have a swimsuit today, we, we can get you to a place where you feel more confident in that swimsuit. If that's something you want, just pop a, a picture of a swimsuit in the comments or say swimsuit, and I'll send you the link for that recording so you can listen to that at your leisure. The other thing I suggest for you is to connect with me because I run a group program, and this is my final round of it. It's called Let It Go. We start on April 23rd, so you have some time to think about it. But in this program, it's a six-week group coaching program. So here's what we do in the six weeks. We get clear on your goals. And when I say your goals, I don't mean a goal that's appropriate for your mother, your brother, your neighbor, your coworker. A goal that works for you. So I'll be very specific about what are your challenges, and then here's how you choose the right goal for you. Once we've chosen the right goal for you, every week we check in and say, how are things going? And I'm not that generic with how are things going. I'm saying, okay, what's one thing you were consistent with? Consistency is king, my friends. If you're not consistent, it doesn't matter. Anyone can do anything for a week. And then I ask the next question of what is new for you this week? I ask what challenges you had, because we all have challenges from time to time, and sometimes they're different from week to week. And then we look at, okay, pardon me. And then we look at, okay, what are ways to support you where you are today, whether that's, that's my dog, Betsy, whether that's meal planning. Maybe you have no idea what to eat, when to eat, how to eat it, all that good stuff. I'll talk to you about how I meal plan without counting anything, but I'll take it one step further and actually provide those meal plan resources for you every week. I will also help you walk through some various exercises you can do. Not a personal trainer, but plenty of experience with home fitness. You don't have to join a gym or add an additional cost to your monthly bills to get your progress done. We will do it at home. I will send you just tutorials, exercises that really will move the needle for you in just the six weeks that we're working together and beyond. And then beyond that, we also talk about confidence and feeling good and, and how you get into the mental game of it. because. Anytime you're trying to focus on lifestyle change, it's a huge shift. So we do those little shifts week by week that will get you to a place where you're like, yes, I don't care anymore. And it's not a I don't care because forget them. You know, like a stubbornness thing or like a reaction to other people. It's more of an I don't care because I feel good and confident in who I am as a person today. That's ultimately where you'll get. In the course of six weeks, I will support you. I will be there for you 100% of the way. If this is intriguing to you, it's called Let It Go, so comment below this video. Even if you're watching the replay, I'll connect with you. I love connecting with people, by the way. I'm doing it for the next couple of weeks. So I'm connecting with people for the next couple of weeks to identify whether this program is a good fit for them because I'm not going to lie and say it's a fit for everyone. It isn't. It's a fit for people who are ready for it, who are committed, and who are ready to make change happen in a different way than the traditional dieting programs. This is not a diet program. I'm not going to like shake my finger at you because you're eating a certain way. I don't restrict anything you're doing. We focus on the good, not on the bad. So if it sounds intriguing to you, comment below this video with Let It Go, and I will connect with you on how you can set up a phone call with me just to walk through what your challenges are, what you're struggling with today, and then we'll discover what the next best steps are for you. Maybe that's working with me. Maybe that's doing something else. But either way, we'll identify by the end of a 30-minute phone call what the next best steps are for you. To sum up today, uh, there's a lot of talk around, especially if you're female, and summertime is coming up, you have to show a lot of skin. I'm telling you that's not the case. But I'm also telling you that if you don't feel comfortable showing skin because you feel like your skin tells too much of a story about you 
and your imperfections, then we need to get you to a place where you feel better about yourself, better in your own skin, better about stretch marks and other things that might be going on. You know, like I want you to feel good about yourself regardless of what size that looks like, what weight that looks like. Maybe you just want to feel better about yourself. And that's ultimately what I do as a health coach is to help you feel better about yourself. I'm not here to judge anyone or to tell you what size you should be. That's up to you. But if you don't enjoy the size you are today, we can find a size that feels better for you. And we can find a, an easy process to get you there because that's what I love to do and that's my passion as a health coach. So thank you so much for joining me today for Show Some Skin and feel good doing it. This is Jenna Espinosa Goswami. I apologize for all the congestion. My dog's in my lap. Thank you for joining me here at Beat Weightless. Make sure to schedule your phone call with me. Just say let it go. Or tell me how you feel about your swimsuit. And... Uh, and I'll send you a resource on how to feel better about your swimsuit. So thank you for joining me, and we'll chat soon. Take care. Bye-bye.